back to my channel. I've been watching The Artsy Mad Woman, like, I binge watched her actually. I watched every single one of her videos and she's so amazing. I'm so in love with her and her personality. It's amazing and I just stole that intro from her. So go check her out. I'll actually leave her description or her um, channel down in the description. So go check her out because she's so much fun to watch. And um, it's kind of like a, the kind of content that I'm thinking about introducing to my channel so I think y'all can go get a sneak peek of that but guess what we're doing today I bet you can't guess even though it's in the description or the in the title of our video we got a witch's root box and I actually just unboxed it and I'm filming this after so I know it's in it but y'all know so go push that little subscribe button I think it's right there maybe it's right there and like the video and let's get right to it Hello my loves. So let's get right to this beautiful box. The Witch's Roots. Y'all yeah, know this is like one of my favorite boxes from the beginning. And I am just like so in love with the Witch's Moon's um, themes this month. They are gorgeous. So I actually can't even remember which, which um, theme this is that they announced on their Instagram. But we will see. Here's our little pamphlet. It's like a blue colored pamphlet this, this month. Sorry if you hear my voice trailing, but, oh, Harmony of Mind. So yeah, sorry if you hear, hear my voice trail off every once in a while. It's probably because I'm like trying to check my camera and make sure everything looks good because I am short and I have to like stand on my tippy toes to be able to see. So yes, Harmony of Mind, if you want to screenshot that, you can. It tells you everything that's in the box. And we have like some black tissue paper. Ooh, look at this. So we got some lavender. Beautiful Book of Shadows artwork by A. Alden. And I have like so many, just if you saw my previous unboxing that I'll link probably right up there. Um, <clears throat> it was at the Witch's Moon and it was Witch of the Woods this month. And oh my gosh, I got like five different Book of Shadow pieces that were all herby and, um, and yeah, herby. <laughs> or like different different herbs so I couldn't believe like the amount of beautiful beautiful artwork that was included this month I love it I'm so excited to start my book of shadows artwork and restart my apothecary so here we go this is like look at this Ooh, finally got another body oil I'm so excited look at this thing too it's like frosted glass I've never seen that before so in between ritual body oil, super pretty. You can see like some pretty little swirls in there. Pretty herbies, love it. I feel like it's a little smaller than usual, but hmm, very like fresh scents. Nothing too overwhelming, which is good because I also mentioned in my last video that lavender actually kind of makes me a little bit nauseous when it's like. Especially when it's like that artificial, super like strong artificial lavender smell. So very pleasantly surprised that that's not super overwhelming. Got a nice big honking bag of lavender. It seems like really pretty color too. Like sometimes you get lavender and it's the color of the flowers aren't that um, bright, but this looks nice and fresh. Nice, beautiful. Got our little dropper for our oil. Awesome. Let's see, oh, there's like a, oh my gosh, this is like the cutest little bag ever. Oh my goodness, I'm totally making it, doing a protection spell with this little bag. This is like, the, look how small this is. It is so adorable. Let's see what's in it, usually it's a crystal. Ooh, nice amethyst point. I love like rough and raw pieces of stones or stones in general. That's what I really prefer to work with. So I love that this is like a nice rough piece of amethyst. Very pretty. Awesome. I'm like seriously in love. I love many things. So 
This is the cutest bag ever. We have another one. Oh, feel. Ooh, is this like a Dalmatian Jasper? Is that what that's called? That is beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous and speckled. Awesome. I hope it's Dalmatian Jasper. Like recently I've been so bad at actually naming what the stones are and I always call them the wrong things. Which is pretty funny because like for a long time I was just really good at <clears throat> naming stones and knowing what things were. But I don't know. Here, I'm going to save this for last because I like to torture you guys and myself. I do that when I eat too. Like I always have to save the best thing for last. Excited, got our little candle, black paper. Oh, that was unexpected. Were you all surprised about that? It was in black paper, but it's a beautiful white candle. I didn't even peek. Awesome. Mm, ooh, I think it smells like they definitely anointed this as something, so we'll have to let her listen. We'll have to read about it in a little bit. This is like super cute. Y'all know I love working with white candles, like either white, black, or gold, and you can unroll this and actually stick all your, your herbies in there. Look, I actually did this time. So it, it works best if it's like a little bit warm, but yeah, you can unroll it and <clears throat> shove a bunch of witchy goodness up in there. Okay, so we got our incense. Sorry y'all that I'm wearing like my, my old ratty sweatshirt, but I went on a walk today and it was cold this morning. Mm -mm. So it smells like very perfumey to me. <clears throat> Gosh, sorry if my throat is also, or my voice also sounds really weird because I feel like I finally caught that thing that's been going around and then I actually gave it to all my children so it's been a, a long week but it's very kind of like um perfumey and very feminine smelling I'll call it that very feminine smelling and a very nice box I'm surprised I haven't gotten any like rose or anything in my box yet <clears throat> being that Valentine's Day is coming up can y'all believe that can you believe it's freaking February already I cannot even wrap my head around how fast January went and this year is just blowing by. So let's see what, oh, how beautiful. Look at this beautiful bracelet, like a little bangle type bracelet. Is that what they call them nowadays? I don't even know, but it's so pretty. So it says, truth, grace, balance, courage, and wisdom. That is super pretty. And then it has like little goddess symbols on it. And it says, walk with the goddess on the inside. Can you all see that? This is me straining to try to see in my camera. That is beautiful though. And it's so like, like look how nice and thick and just like substantial it is. That is awesome. Definitely not expecting that. Like recently we've been getting the pendants, which I love. Like, I think I say, I feel like I say this every single time with every box, but I, um, for the last Witch's Roots and the one before that even, um, they, they've been giving out these goddess pendants and I actually feel like, like the first one was a moon goddess and then the second one was an abundance goddess and I feel like they're very, um, symbolic of like the maiden and the mother. So I was really interested to see this month if they decided to do, um, the crone and do something that was symbolic of the crone pendant, a crone pendant, so. But Bengal is like definitely switching it up. So I will put everything down and lay everything out and we'll get to the reading part, okay? Harmony of mind. To maintain a sense of clarity and focus during our practices, study and ritual work, it is vital that harmony of mind, body and spirit are balanced and in tune. It is so easy for our thoughts to run away from us, leaving us stranded in the overwhelming anxieties and worries that tend to trick and deceive us. As we learn to be gentle with the energy that surrounds us, we begin to focus more intently on the work that stands before us. When the mind is able to balance its attention and break free from, from unwanted thoughts and ideas, we are able to embody truth, 
embody true creativity, and work openly with the life force that surrounds us. In this very special collection, we focus on maintaining harmony with our mind so that we may cultivate more powerful and pure energy throughout each day, placing us closer to the divine. The magical items in this box are as follows. So we have number one, lavender. Traditionally a prominent herb to be used for protection, lavender finds its way into the histories of Spain, Portugal, and Tuscany, warding us against the evil eye and stray malevolent spirits. Aside from magical uses, lavender is one of the most widely popularized herbs and scents used today for its wonderful sweet and floral fragrance. Number two, lavender herbal grimoire artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor lavender. Add this beautiful artwork to your book of shadows or place on your altar for display. Artwork by A.E. Alden. Number three, goddess manifestation bracelet. Made with fine pewter, 100% lead free, and handcrafted by American artisans, this beautifully made cuff bracelet brings with it the divine energies of the goddess. Inscribed upon the outside of this bracelet are the words balance, grace, truth, courage, and wisdom. Inscribed within, the, within is the manifestation walk with the goddess. In addition, unique symbols of the goddess have been, have been inscribed on the outside as well. Number four, in-between ritual body oil with dropper. We have created this in-between ritual body oil with the intention of balancing your energies. This soft and grounding oil was made to place you in a position of non-effort, allowing you to maneuver through tasks with a gentle hand and silent mind. Upon this state, inspiration and guidance can be finally or can finally influence you. We have enchanted this ritual body oil with Yiling Lang, lavender, and Egyptian geranium oils, as well as including lavender buds. We have also included a special mixture of our gentle touch magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this ritual body oil. Number five, silence mini spell candle. We have hand rolled this spell candle with the intention of bringing simple and silent energies into your surroundings. As you sit before the flame, visualize gentle energy moving through you. This time was intended for you to breathe and release any anxieties that you have held on for too long. Allow the effortless dance of the flame before you to inspire the same movement of energy within you. Number six, Dalmatian Jasper Tumbled Stone. A wonderful forward-thinking stone, Dalmatian Jasper can break down habitual emotional walls that have been built for protection, yet tend to hinder our ability to move forward. As you connect with the energies of the stone, allow the release of these anxiety, anxieties or any ill will towards those that you seek revenge upon. As these barriers are broken, your ability to grow spiritually will become stronger. Number seven, Amethyst Crystal. A powerful stone of the goddess, Amethyst is known as a healer and protector. Amethyst can be a wonderful stress reliever during times of emotional chaos or confusion. Place this stone upon your altar or carry with, with you to connect with the divine. Number eight, Tranquility and Peace Ritual Incense Sticks. We have placed the Tranquility and Peace Incense Sticks within this collection to bring harmony to your sacred space and surroundings. As the smoke from this incense wafts, through your, wafts throughout your surrounds, allow yourself to be calm and in tune with your emotional body. All right, honey, so that is that. What a beautiful box for this month. And this has just been like already such a magical month so far. I'm loving it so much. And <clears throat> I especially like love these sweet little bags of two stones. Like, come on, we got two stones this month. That's amazing. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Thank you so much, Witches Moon. And as always, please like and subscribe because I have lots of good ideas coming up. And please also let me know down in the comments, um, as I mentioned in my last video, if you are interested in seeing um, me do some artwork because I'm gonna might be doing some like nail artwork. I'm not that good. This is like the first set that I've done, but I'm planning on getting better and also just kind of sharing that passion with y'all and then um, doing some resin art. So let me know if you're interested because I don't want to scare anyone off. <laughs> but thank you all for watching and I will see y'all later. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you're ever on that thing called Instagram, be sure to follow me at the Frolicking Fern. I'll put it right here in front of my face. And be sure to like and subscribe. Love you, bye.